In this equation, we have C10H16 plus Cl2. So we have this hydrocarbon and this chlorine gas. So let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. We have 10 carbons, 16 hydrogens, and two chlorines. On the product side, we have one carbon, one hydrogen, and one chlorine. So when we have the carbon by itself here, that's going to be really easy to balance. So let's just leave that alone. If we put a coefficient of 16 in front of the HCl, 1 times 16, that equals 16. We've balanced the hydrogens and then 1 times 16, that'll give us 16 chlorine atoms. Kind of easy to fix that though. We could just put an 8 in front of the Cl2. 2 times 8, that gives us 16. So those are balanced. We said the carbon is all by itself. So if we just put 10 here, one times 10, that only changes the carbon. We get 10 of those. We're done. This equation is balanced. So it's really important when you see an atom by itself, like say the carbon, just leave that till last. That'll be easy to balance. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C10H16 plus Cl2. Thanks for watching.